tatlong taon na ako dito, uh, mula noong 2008, as a trainer. Um, my work is to train the cruise ship personnel before they go on board. Now, um, being with Merante Magsaysay, they have a lot of clients from Europe and from America also. Um, that's what we do here. We prepare the Indonesian crew members before they go on board. Ang nakita kong pagbabago is, uh, you know, I'm very glad that uh, we're open now and uh, I think the corruption was lessened. Although it was painful, very painful for all, um, everything was exposed. I don't know uh, to what extent it was all exposed, but uh, this is a very, uh, like a big leap compared to, you know, the previous generation of the leadership. It's like, wow, great, he will be here. And um, I hope also uh, he see the, the tourism here in Bali as a good model to, uh, to, you know, to implement in the Philippines so our economy would rise also. Okay, this is a very good news for uh, people like us who work in the, in the cruise ship, okay? Because uh, I've noticed that Everything, of course, is much smoother now, you know, uh, in, uh, in the processing of the co documents. As far as I had observed, um, yeah, mas madaling, mas madaling ngayon yung business, mas madaling gawin yung uh, documentation and processing um, in the office. Oh, aside from us being very hospitable, we're very good in English. And also our work culture is um, very good. Uh, we are very competitive. We are globally competitive. That's what I can say. Yes, the language is number one. Okay, And also the social skills. Um, when you said education, okay, we're going towards uh, K-12, right? I believe that's a very good move to prepare the, uh, the people more, the, the, the young people more because here it's K to 12. Uh, I see it's good, but what more if we have it in the Philippines? Because, well, uh, Philippines of course have um, more experience when it comes to education and and um, the work world. So, uh, what more if we implement the K to 12? Uh, that would lessen um, bishops of the student bishops of students of uh, transferring again to another course because they were too young when they enrolled in college and uh, they would of course really really be um, decided up to what course to pursue after their senior high school because here after the senior high school they're already working you know uh, they're allowed to work and, and yeah they are prepared to work how much more if a Filipino is having that K-12.